Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for August 23rd, 2021 from Psalm chapter 45, a wedding song. Typically, when we think of a wedding, we think of a marriage between a man and a woman. However, the Bible also mentions another wedding where Jesus is the groom and his bride is the church. St. Paul picks this up in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 31. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. Psalm 45 is a wedding song, not for a man and a woman, but for the wedding of Christ and his bride, the church, meaning all believers in Christ. So let's begin this wedding song with Psalm chapter 45, verse 1. My heart overflows with a pleasing theme. I address my verses to the king. My tongue is like a pen of a ready scribe. The king here is God, the Father Almighty, and the church addresses verses to the king. Verse 2, you are the most handsome of the sons of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Many of the ancient church fathers attribute this verse to Jesus, since Jesus is the Son of Man. And through Jesus, we are indeed blessed forever. The most handsome is a reference to the sinless nature of Jesus. We do need to remember, Jesus is also true God. Verse 3, gird your sword on your thigh, O mighty one, in your splendor and majesty. Notice the sword. Yes, does God have a sword? He does have a sword, not a physical sword that we would imagine, but as the author of the Hebrews mentions in chapter 4, verse 12, for the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. You do need to remember Jesus is the word of God that takes on flesh and blood. Verse 4, in your majesty ride out victoriously for the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness. Let your right hand teach your awesome deeds. So when did Jesus ride out, so to speak, to victory? Let's pick up the Palm Sunday event from Matthew chapter 21, verse 7. They brought the donkey and the colt and put on them their cloaks, and Jesus sat on them. Most of the crowds spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowd that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The answer is when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on that Palm Sunday and the victory. Well, that was actually on Friday when Jesus was crucified on Calvary's cross, defeating sin, death, and the devil. So yes, Jesus did ride out to victory. Verse 5 your arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies. The peoples fall under you. Even though the Bible does speak of God's sword, it does mention arrows also. From Zechariah chapter 9, verse 14. Then the Lord will appear over them, and his arrow will go forth like lightning. The Lord God will sound the trumpet, and will march forth in the whirlwinds of the south. Wow. At this point, you might be thinking in the back of your mind, how is this a wedding song? 
The psalmist begins this way for a reason, showing us how Christ Jesus rescues his bride, the church, from the clutches of the evil one, like some prince rescuing his future princess. So join me again tomorrow as we finish Psalm 45, a wedding song. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.